What's up guys, Force Closed here and I've got another awesome tier 3 boss fight for you. In this video I've got a 7 of 9 Cupid, 3 5 Revitalize, and this hero is great when coupled with Pumpkin Duke for boss fights. My Shaman is at 4 of 9, insignificant talent, but that's okay because 4 of 9 is good enough for boss's damage reduction. My Paladin is at 4 of 9, 2 5 Stone Skin, and that's a great talent to have because it increases the effect of damage reduction. My Pumpkin Duke is at 9 of 9 with the Revive, and since I don't have Berserk, I must have Pumpkin Duke at 9 of 9, or else I don't think it would reach the 200 millisecond attack speed cap. My Multanica went from 7 of 9 to 8 of 9 and still is 4 or 5 scatter, and I have something important to say about that later. My Succubus is at 5 of 9, that's a pretty good talent, or that's a pretty good level to have for damage reduction. At 4 of 9, it increases the duration of her debuff by 1 second, and at 7 of 9, it increases another second. So that's a good talent level to aim, or skill level to aim for. Now here's my strategy, I drop Paladin first followed by Pumpkin Duke as an insurance policy, I'll explain that later on, and it paid off. I drop my two debuff heroes after Pumpkin Duke followed by Cupid, and finally Multanica. The order of this is very important, I wrote a thread that explains uh, attack priority and proc priority, that kind of stuff, so if you want a little bit more information on why it works, then go ahead and read that, I'll put a link in the description, but for now I'll just explain the basics. So I want Cupid to drop after the debuff heroes and Pumpkin Duke because I want them to gain as much energy as possible. And I have to drop Multanica last because he's got Scatter and that allows the boss to um, reduce energy just before his proc and kind of prevents him from proccing once they reach the 200 millisecond attack speed cap. Now something important here, I moved Multanica up from 7 of 9 to 8 of 9 and you'll see my Paladin is just about to die. He's taking way too much damage. And the reason this is because Multanica at 7 of 9 is a 60% uh, attack speed reduction, whereas seven of, or 8 of 9 is a 70%. And this moves the boss's attack speed from 2400 milliseconds to 2600 milliseconds. And 800 and 600 don't really multiply into 2600 very well, whereas at 2400 milliseconds they do. So it kind of messes up my my cycle and it allows the boss to proc more often which means paladin took way too much damage at the beginning but this is okay because like i said my insurance policy i dropped pumpkin duke second and this means i know pumpkin duke is going to gain second aggro and as long as the boss is debuffed before pumpkin duke takes aggro i know pumpkin duke will have enough health points to survive and as you can see he's taking massive amount of energy gain He's proccing like crazy. He's got five or six, six or seven stacks going. Everybody's at 35,000 damage per hit, 22,000, sorry, 200 millisecond attack speed cap. Uh, Multanica is preventing the boss from proccing for the last minute and 40 seconds. Everything's going well. And the only problem is I lost one hero. Now, I'm a little upset because I don't think I can consider this a true boss fight since one hero is dead, but I do know a workaround. It's pretty obvious all I need to do is have a revive hero at the beginning. I've got a revive spirit mage. I could drop him in place of paladin, and that would allow Pumpkin Duke to take second aggro and probably would be able to survive. Now you see here I've zoomed in, and Pumpkin Duke is barely taking any damage. So as you can see, as long as Pumpkin Duke is tanking after the boss has massive damage reduction, it should be okay. So I don't think I'll have any problems if I uh, try that next next time. Anyways, I wanted to post this video for you. You see 100 million damage, no stunner, no healer. And I'm sure you guys can do it too. All you need is this set of heroes. And talents aren't really significant as long as you've got a scatter hero, a maxed out pumpkin duke, a cupid, uh, debuff heroes such as shaman and succubus and you should be able to pull it off maybe even a revive hero at the beginning so you know i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, maybe you've learned something maybe you can try out the strategy for yourself you know good luck all right let me know how it goes take care guys